All right, what's up, people? So I tried to stream earlier. That's why I'm paused in the middle of the game. But Twitch has this weird thing of just dropping frames. So I lowered my bit rate 500 bits. Hopefully that uh, rectifies the issue. Anyway, this is part three. You didn't really miss much. Um, I just sold more cards and did more things. And the sun is out. That's how you know that I'm streaming at a different time than usual. Shout out to our special guest, The Sun. Hopefully you guys are doing all right. And shout out to the person who subbed to my YouTube channel because I didn't wear any pants. They commented on the first part of this video on uh, my YouTube channel because that's where I upload my VODs. And they said, I subbed because no pants or something like that. I'm like, you know what? You're gonna make it far in life, kid. You're doing the right thing. But if you, who might be watching this, if you're not wearing any pants, well, I hope you're comfortable. Okay, we're not dropping any frames right now, so that's cool. Twitch is like a, the bastardest thing, man. What am I doing? Now I'm not even paying attention to what the hell I'm doing. Thanks a lot, Twitch. I was thinking about playing something else, honestly, but the heart of the cards. And, um, yeah, just the heart of the cards. They like told me to play this. They came to me in a dream. I had a vision and they told me they wanted more uh, TCG card shop simulator. Is the game like a simple game? Yeah. Is that a bad thing? I don't think so. Especially when you have games out there where you just like click a mouse over and over and over again. What are those games like clicker games? So this game isn't the most in-depth game. Like this is not like <laughs> insert game title here, but you know what? I enjoy it. And at the end of the day, that's really all that matters, right? If I'm having a good time, it trickles down. Well, at least it should. Like if you just play a game and you're not having fun, like it trickles down. I feel like, I mean, granted, I only have like 61 followers, but I mean, so take what I'm saying with a grain of salt, you know, iodized, but you need to play games that you like, I feel like. If you're not enjoying the game, it's gonna bleed over into your commentary. It's gonna bleed over into your stream, into your chat. And who wants to be a part of that? Get your shit together, man. In a good way. See, like I'm not getting my shit together right now because I'm not restocking the damn uh, single thing. But you know what? I rectify that issue immediately to the best of my ability, which isn't a lot. Wait a minute, he's gonna. And the night's almost over. No drop frames either. I hate how that happens. I really do. Cause like I said earlier, I tried, I was streaming for like 10 minutes and then I restarted because like the, it was getting to the point where the drop frames were becoming unbearable. And although, you know, the VOD, it's not, it's not an issue for people who watch the VOD. It affects the live viewing experience. Like I don't want people to come in here and just be like, what the hell are all these drop frames? Who the hell's that guy in the bottom left corner? Why does he suck so bad at this? You know what? I can only like rectify like one of those things. And that's the dropped frames issue, which is what I did because yeah, we have zero dropped frames on the second go around. That's good. And the store's about to close in a couple of minutes. Well, look, look how Jeffrey just drops this thing. Look, yeah. Okay. So this is my employee. His name is not Jeffrey, it's Zachary, but he, he acts like a Jeffrey. 
See how he just dropped this box? That There's valuable product in here and he just drops the damn box. What a Jeffrey thing to do. Let's go in Jeffrey. All right, we got $3,000. Um, what should we do? I'm thinking we need to crack open packs, right? Cause it's not a tease. We gotta crack this shit open. We gotta get like Charizard and like Abungus and Matumbo, right? This is how pros open packs. Look, this is a pro move right here. Okay, I think that's a new card. New card. I want Exodia. Give me Exodia. Damn it, no. Oh! Holographic Zubat? And Mushroom Cloud? Oh, I have Holographic Zubat already. Damn it. I think I need to stop stocking these uh, basic ass packs. Because uh, we can make more money with uh, the expensive packs. And this is a business after all. We gotta try to make the most amount of money as possible. If you're not making money, no. Nope. Then you're not wearing pants. And if you're not wearing pants, it probably means that you're not wearing socks either. Speaking of socks, how normal is it for people to wear shoes in the house? Like, do you, whoever's watching this, do you wear shoes in the house? Like, normally? I feel like that's a weird thing. That's like, that's like a, a foreign thing to me, wearing shoes in the house. But from my understanding, a lot of people do. Like, how can you wear shoes in the house? Like, I can see, like, if you're just putting on the shoes in the house to, like, step out, but, like, to actively wear them in your house. I don't know. It seems kind of weird. It seems very weird. You don't know what you've stepped in out there. You probably stepped on, like, a... Like, something not good. Insert something not good here that you probably stepped in. That's not good. All right, we're never gonna buy these again, at least not anytime soon. Can I box this up? Can I trash it? Oh no, I don't wanna trash it. We'll leave this up here. All right, so let me pick this up. Mm. How long, how long have you been away? All right, we gotta go buy some, uh, we need to buy better, uh, more valuable product so that way we can keep making more money. Cause we gotta make money in this game. Should I sell decks? I don't even know how much these go for. Okay, hey, wait up first. I wanna buy the next figure first. This thing, Min Minstar Plushy. And then we'll buy a uh, fire deck. Okay, we'll buy fire deck. 18 and then, uh, okay, this, I hate, so I, I'm playing on controller and a lot of the times the back button doesn't work until you reclick the, the game with the mouse. We're gonna buy a uh, Kirby star and uh, some decks. And we'll put those up for sale. Are these the decks? These are the decks. I wonder how much these go for. We could probably get like 40 bucks for it, right? 42? Okay, that's not bad. What's the other thing that we bought? I already forgot. <laughs> oh yeah, the plushies. That's right. We got some plushies. We'll put the plushies right here. Hopefully these sell for a pretty penny. They don't. 
These things suck. Nobody's gonna buy this shit compared to Pygmus. Do we run out of green? We might have ran out of green. Uh, I don't even know what this is. Close it. These are red dice, which we're full of. What is this? A uh, red uh, deck. And this is the plushies. So we're gonna need more decks, huh? Yeah, we're gonna need more decks. Gotta place it in order for decks. Deck boxes. Why do you keep doing this game? So it seems like out of the plushies, the three plushies that we've gotten, uh, these rock things are the most valuable. They seem that they go for the most and they seem to be a pretty good seller with the, the community that we've built up. The pig, uh, whatever the pygmy, pygmy uh, sucks ass. Um, no one seems to like pygmy for whatever reason. They're probably racist, but... Um, probably not gonna buy pygmy anymore because it doesn't really sell all that well this is an experiment i don't know how well the kirby stars are gonna do but as you can see 19 dollars versus 24 so it's less but i'm hoping we can sell more are you digging what i'm spilling are you feeling what i'm spilling i'm trying to drop this uh we oh well let me throw this away first um, oh, wait a minute. This guy's been waiting here for the longest. My bad, dude. Thanks for your, uh, thanks for the money. Okay, are we good? We're okay. We're okay. Should we open more packs? <laughs> um, hey, let me open this up. I can probably do better by consolidating space, which I should probably do, right? Like, I'm pretty sure I can get rid of, like, one of these shelves and just, like, minimize, like, everything else into, like, three shelves. But I don't want to do that. But I should do that. Right? Right? I feel like this is a waste of space right here. Any pro TCG card uh, simulator players out there, if you have the strat, let me know, yeah? How do we make the big money? I'm all in it for the big monies. You know what? I think we should do that. Yeah, I think we're going to have to do that. Damn it. I don't want to do this. But you know what? I will do it for the city. Um... Place. No, 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 no place. Pick up the. Put take item. Oh shit. Um. I need a big box. Damn it! Who got the big box? All right. You know what? We'll wait for the next day when we start running low on stock, and then we'll do what I want to do. Do to do. Do do. Do I have enough to make some bulk? Hell yeah, we got enough to make some bulk. Bulk card bundles? Feed these to the masses. Um, put item. If you wanna check out my collection, I'll, I have 371 cards out of 13 bajillion that we're never gonna get. <laughs> All right, I think we should start the next day. Yep. So we'll start the next day. Hopefully rent isn't due. And then we'll go from there. Day 28. I mean day 29. Oh. 
Open for business. PC Nice. Alright. Let's see what goes. Buy something, you son of a bitch. I mean, um, please. Okay, you bought a single for a dollar. It's not really what we wanted, but at least they're playing. That's cool. Wait, I didn't even check the stock market. Um, okay, rare cards are up. Let me go check the... Damn it, wait up. Okay, rare card. Let me see what the market price is. Okay, we had it at a pretty decent price. Okay, so far, The Rock still seems to be going well. The Dwayne The Rock Johnson plushie seems to be... Oh, okay, Kirby Stars. They're flying off the shelves. Can't say the same for uh, Pygmus, but... All right, Pygmus. Where the hell is Jeffrey? Late again. Can't stand these Jeffreys, man. It's like that, uh, the crowd, the, what is it? The Krusty Krab, uh, training video episode? Don't be a Squidward, don't be a Jeffrey. There he goes, look at him, showing up late to work. Fucking Jeffrey. Lucky we didn't get to, okay. Still, the last Pigma that we have in stock still has not sold. I blame Jeffrey. It's Jeffrey's fault. Look at him. Cheap pygmy plushie. What a bar. Okay, somebody just bought pygmies. All right. Okay, we're never buying him again. Paying with exact change. I like these guys. And yeah, don't worry, uh, Jeffrey. You have uh, all the job security here. Yeah, until we find someone to replace you, that is. <laughs> Take that, Jeffrey. Yeah, I think we're going to, uh, depending on how much stock we have left over, I'm not going to buy any more stock after this workday ends and just kind of uh, like sell out a majority of our stock. And then that's when I'll start uh, consolidating the shelves because I, I don't think we need this extra shelf. I think we can do without it. And I think that extra shelf is honest. I think that uh, increases our rent price. I don't know. If, I don't know for sure, but. I think like but like the more stuff you have in your store, like the higher your rent goes, which doesn't make any sense. But Heisenberg, thank you, Heisenberg. Good price. Yeah, they're pretty good, man. I gotta, damn it, these people are just eating these up like goldfish. Well, that's a big seller right there, $45? And I'm gonna put that up for $50. What I'm doing right now, I'm just trying to see if I have any dupes of the more expensive cards. Just so that way we can keep our collection uh, collectioned that doesn't make any sense but i just don't want to uh, you know if i have one card of one it doesn't make sense to sell it you know for collection purposes if 
better go wait up check this market price there you go 50 bucks one dollar 16 cents is your change thank you come again four dollars damn she bought hella packs thanks pink hair lady I mean, purple hair lady. Oh, damn. I hope in the future that they let you actually play this card game. You know, like triple triad, like in Final Fantasy VIII, like you get to collect the cards. Yeah, I'm selling the cards and stuff, but it would be cool if they like actually made like a functional card game with these cards, you know? And I can beat the hell out of my customers, you know? No mercy. Use all the OP cards and just, you know, make them never want to come back. Because that's how any good business is run on. Fear. And fear. And what's that uh, card game? I think Gwent, right? From uh, The Witcher? You know, like a functioning, actual functioning like card game. That'd be cool. Hurry up, Jeffrey, damn it. Man. Fucking Jeffrey. Zero bucks. The buck stops here. We still have decent uh, card uh, stock, so that's cool. I'm not too sure about the other stuff, but so far, the the card boxes seem to be very profitable, and uh, the rock plushie seems to be very uh, profitable. I don't know why no one's buying the fire deck. Is no one buying this shit? They aren't. Is the price too high? I think the price is too high. Yeah, the price was too high. Go buy my fire deck. Hurry up. Buy the fire one. I thought those were the same character models, but they weren't. The deck boxes seem to uh, sell pretty well too. They seem to love those deck boxes. So far, the only thing that I know for sure that I'm not gonna buy again is the pig plush. That is not a good seller. Cards are a good seller, especially the boxes. But everything. Oh, someone bought the expensive card. Cool. That's cool. Okay, what is this a box of? All right. The plushes. We got uh. The dice is all gone. Okay, the dice is all gone. The dices were the dice was a pretty good seller too. I feel like. Okay, the stars are selling pretty well. Let me go restock this. Hey, 
have like 10 uh, <laughs> Kabuto. That's cool. 150? 150 is good. Three bucks is your change, sure. Three bucks. Damn, still no one wants to buy the fire decks. That's not good. Where the hell's Jeffrey? Um, Jeffrey. You know what? We don't even need Jeffrey right now. Jeffrey's just gonna slow us down. We're trying to strive for greatness, and here's Jeffrey holding us back. He's the seatbelt of our trading card game store, holding us back. Where the hell is Jeffrey, man? Jeffrey! Man, you go ban the counter, stupid. Do something. Damn it, freaking Jeffrey. Don't worry, boss, I'm right on it. Look, you could have restocked the damn... The, you know what, Jeffrey? Jeffrey's a bastard, that's what he is. He's a damn bastard. Can we open the, the decks? No, you can't open the deck. Well, that kind of sucks. I thought these things would be flying off the shelves. I wonder if we need to purchase the other battle decks. That probably, that probably is what we need to do, right? So that way, because I feel like the deck boxes are flying off the shelves because we have all four of them. But with the battle decks, we just have a uh, pigness. All right, how are we gonna do this? Uh, we gotta move everything. Let's move everything. That's my box. There you go. Let's move everything over that we can. How well do these things sell? I don't know. Honestly, I kind of don't care. Um, okay, the box is done. Just chuck that into the bin. Oh shit, I shouldn't have done that. that over there didn't I buy a yellow and a green one okay that's that here he goes the yellow one the yellow one seems to sell very well too this space I don't know if I'm gonna buy the dice again I probably won't box up so there we go can I buy some more shelves Put it right here. No. 
Okay, I probably need to renov upgrade my space a bit. Let me do that. Are the bills due? No. What the hell's going on with the controller? There we go. Okay, let's put this here. So Jeffrey, do this for Jeffrey. Jeffrey, don't fuck this up, yeah? can buy some of those metal put items on shelves store up to five types of items each card display should I buy a card display you know I'll put a card display up fuck it Give me this. We'll put like our uh, cool pieces up in here. So that people can come by and be like, ooh, ah. There we go. Okay, where's our uh, expensive stuff at? Okay, let's take the expensive stuff. You gotta get the ooh ah cards out. Put the damn card. There we go. Spray's running low. Put a spray in you. What else can we buy? Should I buy more warehouse shelving? I probably should, huh? Probably a big one. How much is the damn? It's a thousand dollars for a big one. We'll buy us another small one. <laughs> I'm trying to like be uh, have good warehouse stuff, you know, so that way we can make Jeffrey's life a lot easier. I don't know why I'm doing that because Jeffrey can suck a fat one but you know what Jeffrey you're lucky Jeffrey you're real lucky How many boxes do we have? We have normal, no more boxes. No more. Wait a minute. Let me open. Put that down there. Thirty-three packs, four packs. So I need purple boxes. I need to buy. Let me put an order for purple boxes. Purple boxes one. And do we need more yellow and purple packs? I don't think we need more yellow. Blue. I need more yellow, green, red. Uh,
yellow. Green. Red. How much is that? Purchase that. Let's get another warehouse shelf. Then we're only gonna have 26 bucks? Okay, maybe not. Maybe no warehouse shelf. We do need more of these. These are a good seller. Although they're not necessarily flying off the shelf right now. deck boxes shelf has no more space red okay red's full I know we need more yellow yeah I know we need more yellow on the Just prepping for the next day's work. Yeah, we're gonna put something else on this wall if somebody will buy this. Market price. What's that, 27? Three more of those. Okay, I think we're ready for part two. Oh no, hell no! We need a <laughs> we need to restock this. Okay, trying to find something with uh, pretty decent value that we have uh, duplicates of. So far, we're not getting it right now. There we go, Bagoosh. We got one. Two. Three, four. How many licks does it get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? One, two, three. Um, let me see. Boom, boom. My right, hand is full. Let me put these out for uh, people to buy. It kind of pisses me off how you can uh, hold 10 cards in your hand. That kind of sucks. Because then you always have to do another trip and put two down um, you set the prices market price okay I think that might be it Unless we can do some more bundles. Can we do some more bundles? Oh, we can. That's probably what I'll put in that other slot. Probably card bundles. The slot where uh, those orange sleeves are. I'll probably just put uh, card bundles in there. All right, I think we're ready to go to the next day.
For the usual, the rock things are selling well. Where the hell is Jeffrey? I think he bought one of those fire decks, surprisingly. Or maybe not. I gotta go find Jeffrey. I think Jeffrey's tripping out because I told him to man the counter yesterday and I didn't tell him to. Hey, start restocking, man. He bought some of the fire decks. Cool. See, now we're talking. I don't know why he has to walk across, I mean, behind the, the shelf to restock it. Why can't he just restock it right here? Why am I even questioning Jeffrey logic? This is Jeffrey we're talking about. Shouldn't be surprised. Don't be surprised. It's a Jeffrey thing. and 50 cents is your change. Okay, the fire decks are starting to sell. Stock my shelves. Uh, market price. Thank you. 
Is it God so expensive? Is it? Man, this is expensive. Two seventy eight. I'm gonna buy another uh, small warehouse shelf. Put this over here. And then we're gonna start putting these boxes over here. I guess the one good thing about the shelves is that you can see how much of how much of which you have in your uh, stock, right? Like, you can see, okay, we have five more blue things. I have no more boxes, so I'm gonna have to put in an order for boxes. So that's cool. Seven bucks is your change. Shows are looking kind of slim. Jeffrey, what the hell, man? Okay, what do we need more of? Let me see. We need more of the Magnemite rock thing. So let me buy one of these. We need more purple boxes. Purple boxes. We need yellow boxes. What else do we need? We need blue deck. We don't know. We don't need blue deck boxes. Um, you know, we're going to need more of those uh, plushies. Deck boxes we're doing okay on. But we need green ones, don't we? We need the fucking green ones. Unless he threw it over here somewhere. Okay, now that we're at shop level 19, I think we can buy, uh, buy them in bulk, right? The purple boxes? Oh, we have to buy the license for it, though, right? And it's probably like... Yeah, it's a shit ton of money. We'll buy it. So then we're gonna have to... stuff 72 bucks I don't know how if we're, I don't think we're gonna be able to make uh, what 400 bucks to buy all the shit that we need to buy but maybe maybe if the monopoly guy comes in here and buys like it takes everything off the shelf but I doubt that
put it down. Thank you. Is he restocking the packs? Oh, I think he did. I was gonna say, cause I was gonna probably crack some more packs. He just drops the stuff. You stupid asshole. You still have a shit ton of uh, gold packs. Maybe I'll crack open some gold packs. I think we'll crack open some gold packs. Maybe we'll get Charizard. I don't know. Okay, 63 bucks. Damn, still nothing good. Okay. Um, what is that? Rockfish, man? some more. I think we've seen Krabby like a bajillion times already. Look, what's his name? Crab Blocks? Restock this shelf. Mm. Okay, what do I have in my stock? Oh, we can buy it. Green 
box, deck boxes. Put that there. Magnemite. I think that's it. Next day. I forgot to restack the damn. Oh, shit. Seven thirty three. Damn it. Okay, she bought a lot of stuff. That's what I like to see. You're gonna go places in life, uh, old purple hair lady. You're going places. To hell. Purple boxes do sell. It's not even close. Oh, I just got an achievement. Manually check out for 1,000 customers. Damn. It's been 1,000? <laughs> Guess it's been 1,000. You know what, I'm gonna put in an order for those uh, boxes right now. Cause I know we're gonna need them. There you go. All right. I think we, we're getting close to the point where these orange packs don't even make sense to keep in stock. Because I feel like we have majority of them in our collection. And they don't really sell as much as the purple ones. And then when we eventually unlock the red packs, we're going to, you know, so on and so forth. Sixty nine ninety nine. Damn. Got all the battle boxes. Thank you. 
hoping the singles are still selling? Orange packs that we have, we still have 21 orange packs. Sheesh. Yeah, so what I want to do is eventually we're gonna just uh, have one orange pack uh, shelf and then one orange box shelf, and then we'll allocate the other two things to I don't know yet. That'll free up some shelf space. Damn, he got all the purple stuff. What's that purple stuff? All right, thirty-six and ninety-nine is your change, buddy. Don't spend it all in one place. Yeah, the purple stuff. I want to compare and see how much more money we get for the purple stuff compared to the orange stuff. So we're making three eighty-eight profit on the purple stuff, and compared to two ninety-nine. And how much profit are we making? The plushies, uh, they're decent profit. Fourteen forty-nine profit. Seventeen twenty-eight. One dollar forty is your change. Orange pack, I mean, yeah, purple packs. Purple boxes are doing all right. We can still probably buy another case or two. We're not out of orange boxes yet. more uh, do we have on shelf or purple packs yeah a decent amount packs are flying off the shelves. Maybe I should just allocate, I don't even know. 
Maybe I shouldn't even give him the choice between the two. Maybe I should just take orange off the table and just say, hey, buy purple. Okay, we need more boxes, deck boxes. Of course, we buy the, I'm gonna buy the, what is it? the licenses for the 16s. There you go. You know what, let's put in an order for them right now. Accessories. These sixteen. There you go. Let's just place the order right now. Better put that at the bottom. Nice. Jack these prices up. Out of yellow boxes, we need some more purple boxes. So I need to put in an order for uh, put in an order for purple boxes. Steal my merchandise. is your change.
put these items in. You know what? Maybe we can just leave these out. Leave these out. I'll just open up those packs. Okay, 62 bucks. Cool. boxes too. I think it's time we start allocating more space to uh, other things. If you catch my drift. Look at that, nothing new. Not a damn thing new. One thing new, that's cool. One thing out of how many things? <laughs> Zero things. This is not good. This is the opposite of what is good. Holy shit. And the sun's starting to go down too. That's not new. That's not a new <laughs> Yeah, we're not gonna keep these in stock anymore. Wasted inventory space in my opinion. Yeah. So let's move you, her. open these packs too I feel like I should open the packs as well you know what fuck it we'll open up the packs <laughs> maybe we'll pull something <laughs> no new things man I, just... I don't even know if that's new it's not I mean it's cool that it's worth a lot but I'm looking for new. What's the profit for this? Two ninety nine compared to the boxes. Maybe we'll just stack boxes instead. I think that's what we'll end up doing. I just end up stacking boxes. At least this will give us bulk material to sell. Not a damn thing new. Something new. I saw it new over there at the far left. <laughs> not, not a new, no new. Thank goodness for the bulk uh, workshop thing, right? Imagine if we didn't have that. Is that new? Okay. New. New uh, hoot hoot. Cool. Oh, 
that's not it's new. Eleven bucks. Okay, two new. Alright. Put this up there. I don't even know if I want to uh Damn, look at all this extra space we got. I think we can get rid of an extra uh, shelf. <laughs> it seems like. Or am I reading that wrong? Let me see. Um, I think we can. Oh no, we can't. We cannot. All right. So, what are we gonna put right here? have extra space we do yeah I think we'll just sell boxes all right you know what let's just restock this and then we'll start another day things um one one there you go duplicate and another dupe two dupes one dupe Prices. <laughs> Gotta buy another thing of cleanser. Just call it a day. All right, let me check out the TCG prices, market price. Did the price go down? Market price is 560.
least he bought them at the new price. Always gotta make sure you recheck the market prices. Okay, bought the purple stuff. That's what we want. Gotta save up some money until we uh, hit level 20 so we can buy those legendary uh, legendary packs. And then we'll just have the purple and the red up. Do we run out of red boxes already? I think we're out of yellow boxes, unfortunately. The rare, uh... Are we out? Yeah, I think we're out. I we just gotta worry about the packs. How much are the packs going for? Can we just do market price. And then just undercut it. There. I just wanna get rid of them the orange packs this is good game i watched the whole last stream and then bought it <laughs> are you serious it's pretty good i mean if you bought it i mean you already know dead ass see there you go man and i'm not even getting paid to play this game i paid out of my own money from my own wallet and I'm like, you know what? Give me this game. I have 10 hours on it. It's it's addicting, dude. It's pretty addicting. I still don't know in terms of like, I think you just have to be up to date with like the market. My shop is called Howie's Game Shit. <laughs> I mean, you can't beat the classics. You can't beat the classics. What shop level are you? I'm at 19. 20? Damn. 
I gotta catch up, man. I got rookie numbers. In your opinion, what's been selling like the best for you? And like, what's been like the high, the highest profit item you got? From my under, from my uh, opinion, I think the boxes are like the best, and these rock plushies seem to go pretty well too. But I'm slowly starting to phase out these yellow packs because I pretty much have majority of the cards in them, and like, for so for collection sake, they're not worth putting on the shelf, and for uh just shelf sake like i'd rather like have them spend more money on the the newer stuff the new hotness than you know trying to stock the old hotness that I, even if i were to crack the packs i'm not going to get anything new from them I think the game wants me to gouge people. I keep everything like plus or minus five bucks of market. That's, so what I used to do, I would just like market price and then just round off so I didn't have to give like waste time giving change. Cause damn man, they'll, they'll give you like the weirdest change amounts and like you have to give them back like 20 bucks and like 82 cents. Like how am I supposed to calculate 82 cents? Like I know how to, but I'm not, I don't want to, so there was a point where I was just rounding off everything just so I could give them, you know, you know, just dollar amounts back. Then I realized, you know, like, I'm jeopardizing profit by doing that. So I just kind of got used to, uh, you know, at least for the most part. There are some things that I do round off, like the singles. I do round off the singles because, you know... Oh yeah, what's your most valuable card that you pulled? I think this is my most valuable card. It's this thing. It's gold edition. I'm still stocking everything. I think the boxes are the best return. I sell the pinks for plus five on market and they sell a lot. Oh damn, plus five? Yeah, so... I'm waiting for these orange things to sell because I put them at pretty low, but they're still not selling. Look at market price compared to where I have them. Come on, and they're not selling? And Jeffrey over here is the worst employee. His name is Zachary, but he acts like a Jeffrey. I don't have like a, a reference, like a Jeffrey person in real life. He just acts like a Jeffrey. And not even a cool Jeffrey, like Jeffrey the Giraffe from Toys R Us, like a like a whack ass Jeffrey. I have a screenshot of a seventeen hundred bucks. Damn, I haven't got that lucky. I was saying earlier during stream that uh, I hope that um, they actually make this into like a like a playable card game like you know like it doesn't have to be that in depth with the mechanics but like say i want to like kick this person's ass right here like say i want to sit down and just beat their ass like i wish you could do that i'll just come over there with my overpowered deck and just be like boom like if i beat you in this game you got to go buy like a hundred dollars worth of merch and then i just beat them And anytime they start popping off, I'll just be like, uh oh, house rule, uh, you can't play that card. House rule, um, that's actually banned in the shop. <laughs> that would be tight. I wish they were multiplayer so we can help at each other's stores. I mean, it seems like this game's getting a lot of traction, so. I don't even know who the developers of this game are, but, you know. We'll see. And the game's only like 12 bucks. This is my collection right here. Let me show you my collection. I only got 386 uh, worth of cards. This is not the most valuable card I have. The most valuable card I have is, uh, it's in this stupid display thing that I wasted my money on. See, I can keep eye. The, the one good thing about these, uh, these uh, warehouse shelves is that you can just kind of like look and see how much more of each item you need. So you can be like, okay, I'm kind of running low on boxes. I might need to pick up some boxes. Uh, 
Other than that, I mean... That's about it. I don't know why no one's buying my rare packs, dude. The the gold ones. I have them for uh, like below market price. I like that you can sell stuff one for one. One for one. Huh? One for one. Like if you want to sell your warehouse, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, like I had an extra shelf right here. Then I sold it because I was like, like, it's just a waste of space. And I don't know how the rent system works in this game, but it seems like the more shit you put into your shop, the higher your rent goes. So I was like, if I'm not, if I can better utilize like these racks and just sell this one, why am I keeping this extra one for? So then I sold it. Speaking of that, is the rent due? Damn, rent is 1200 bucks? How is that calculated? Each day, depending on the size of the shop. Okay, so I feel like the more renovations we do, the... All right. Maybe it doesn't matter about the amount of shelves you have, right? Yeah, I think I have three one-sided shelves and two two-sided shelves, and the rest is table space. Yeah, I have no two-sided shelves. I wouldn't know where to put them. At least not with the space I have right now. These stinky bastards. I use them mostly to funnel people to and from the register. Oh. The stinky people are the worst. Yeah, but luckily my system that I have in place, these two, uh, watch, let me show you my system real quick after I cash this dude out. So actually it blasts them through the door. I didn't know that until my last stream. And then like, until they did it, or maybe it was part one. I don't know. It was one of those parts. And then it like, it hits them. So if you have it set up like this, It'll hit them right as they come into your store. Sometimes one of the stinky ones, you know, they uh, break free, but it'll get majority of the people. Card shop owner tech. Yeah. I didn't even know about that in first. Cause so when I first had it, I had like uh, my second air freshener, like over here, which, you know, so say for instance, it, it really didn't work out because if they didn't go this way, they wouldn't get hit with the second, the second air freshener. And even before that, I assumed that, you know, like it'll just neutral, like it, I felt like it, like at first that it wouldn't matter where you put your air freshener at, right? Like I could put it here and then it'll just hit it. It'll like spray something in the room, but I didn't realize there was a proximity that you had to be in for it to, you know, hit you with the spray, which is fucking stupid, right? But. You pissing me off? Yeah, I didn't even know that, that you can uh, chase them down with the uh, the cans until uh, one of my uh, one of my viewers told me about it. They were like, "Yeah, man, I like spraying them down with the the air freshener," and I'm like, "You could do that," because I didn't know you could do that. And then you could do that. <laughs> I'm like, "All right, that's cool." Because, all right. Mm, I don't really want to stock these. I'll stock. Oh, okay, so here's what's gonna. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to just buy boxes, right? I'll buy two boxes of that. And I'll. Should I stock these? I remember I put up your stream and you were stocking by hand, and then when I came back, you're using box tech, and I was amazed. I don't. Yeah, I didn't know about. It. I was just doing it one by one, and then, you know. Cause I, I mean, honestly, I don't really like, I haven't really looked up anything. The only, the only time I looked up anything about this game was I wanted to put the Pokemon card mod on it. And then I was, I was in the process of doing that. And then I realized I wanted to watch Better Call Saul and I couldn't like multitask, right? Cause I want to give Better Call Saul my attention. Cause it's, it's a damn good show. 
Seven packs at a time makes you feel like a bad worker. I don't know if I should sell. Oh no, we need to save up money, right? For uh, wait a minute. Yeah, <laughs> like if I would like, I'm I might have uh, I might make this game my uh, off stream game, but I do like playing this on stream. I don't know. If the people want to see me play this on stream, I'll, I'll keep playing this on stream. Because I like the game, but I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I have to find a balance. I'm debating whether or not I want to stock uh, the basic cards. I feel like I'll just give like a, a space up just for the boxes. I, I won't stack the single packs. I don't feel like it's worth it to just stack... Uh, allocate a shelf to single packs. I feel like you're just better off. If you're gonna sell basic cards, just one shelf for uh, a box. I'm gonna do that. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'll do that. Okay, how many more packs do we have? Oh shit, I for, oh. Okay, I think, I guess I, I reallocated this wrong. That, that That's my bad. It's my bad. I didn't realize that I had uh, <laughs> both of these as a. Uh... Where's my box? Oh shit, I gotta buy more deck boxes too. So we need more deck boxes. I need more battle boxes. Where's the battle boxes at? Should I start stocking other battle boxes? Yeah, we'll start stocking other ones too. Alright, we need uh, accessories. We need deck boxes. We need uh, we need red. Do we need red? Shit. Do we need red? <laughs> Wait a minute. Do we where the hell's red again? Alright, red. Here we go. Red. I can count. You know why it's hard for me to see the what's red and cause I don't see color, you know? I'm not a racist. I judge the deck boxes based on the content of their character, not the color of the... What the hell? This is $2,000? I stocked the red fire deck and those sell well. Yeah. I think another thing you have to do is just like, make sure each day you check the market prices on your uh, the items and uh, adjust accordingly. I think that's another thing that I fail to do a lot. All right, these are boxes. I want to stock these boxes. I don't know where though. Um. All right, I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that right here. Wait up. Put you over here. Okay, I'm gonna open up this. I'm gonna put some boxes right here. I'll put that right here. Cool. What else do we got? Yellow deck boxes. All right, we'll put that. Yeah, cause um, that same viewer who told me about the can tech, uh, he let me know and said that I guess if you like stock only one type of deck box that supposedly like the customers will complain about like uh, like oh they don't have the yellow deck box if you only have like the red ones maybe they have well I mean I, I stock all the <laughs> all the different ones but maybe they uh Maybe they do. I haven't seen it though. Like in terms of them complaining about not having like the other colors. Cause if that's the case, they probably complain about you not stacking, uh, stocking the other uh, battle decks too. A lot of these customers just be complaining about a lot of shit. Complaining. That's not good. Okay, we'll just stock the boxes for uh the ones that I don't really care for. 
like this. I'm not going to even waste time uh, stocking the other shit. Cannot store all oh, to empty box. Um, yeah, I think I'm playing the game wrong, keeping close to market and still not being approached, appreciated by my community. Yeah, I want the way the best way that these people can appreciate me, the community I mean, in the game is buy my stuff. <laughs> just buy the hell out of my stuff that's the best way to show your appreciation just keep buying my shit okay now we stock uh two different deck box uh battle decks see i'm listening to the community they want more uh variety i'm gonna give them all the variety Market is 32. We'll round it up 33. The tabletop games do well. They do, but I don't feel like I feel like they don't sell well enough. And the thing that sucks about the tabletop games is that you can only stack uh, two per shelf, which kind of sucks. Give me my damn box. Yeah, lots of real estate. In there, should I start cracking packs? No, I don't want to crack packs. All right, I think we're okay. No, we're not. The pinks feel good. I feel like I never lose money when I open them. From the pink ones? Hmm. All right. Let's open four of them. Full art bird, uh, bird. Okay, we got full art bird. That's pretty cool. See, the one thing that I hate about the gold packs is that now whenever I open them, I rarely get new cards. You, know, you see how there's three new cards here? That's, that's a rare thing to find in the rare packs nowadays. Since I've opened so many of them. Oh, wait a minute. I got to uh, do my uh, pack my uh, bulk real quick. I jam through packs now. I think mine's is on full speed, too. I think. I hope it is. <laughs> These bulk card selling thing is pretty clutch. Bulk cards. I have mine set to like one remaining and anything a dollar and less, I, it gets uh, put in the bulk. It does change how much XP you get per pack open though. The amount of new cards pulled off. So like the more, uh, so like the less new cards you pull, the uh, less amount of XP you get. think that's how it works I just want to get new cards because I know the rare I mean the rare ass cards like the $1,700 cards I'm just playing it like you <laughs> all right well we'll find out I'm trying to pull some of them thousand dollar cards I haven't even pulled one of them damn things yet oh this shit is below market price no wonder why it was not selling I'll put it for 15 buck over I got mine from a gold pack oh shit yeah, these gold packs haven't been hitting for me. Yeah, I'm not going to stack any more of these. I'm not going to allocate any uh, 
space for the singles, the single packs for these blue ones. I'll just stick with the boxes. For 20 bucks profit? Mm, I think we're good. Oh, I gotta restock this stupid uh, display again. If you forgot to put a price, people will buy it for wholesale and I got rock for not noticing on the play. Oh shit. They do that shit with the singles too. Like if you don't get to the singles fast enough and some uh, NPCs like looking at them, they'll just scoop it up for a discount, a hell of a discount. Could be like, oh man, they're selling this $100 card for 50 cents. I'm like, I mean, and the customer is always right, right? So you can't just knock the card out of their hand like the Kimbe Matumbo and just be like, nah, -uh. that's just bad business. You're going to get a bad review on Yelp if you do that. So you just, you know, laugh it off. You're like, <laughs> sure. Sure it is. And Makembe Matumbo died, man. Did I say Makembe Matumbo? I hope I didn't. I said Dikembe Matumbo. Rewind that if you want to. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I said. I hope I didn't say Makembe Matumbo. <laughs> I don't think I did. And if you say I did, I'm just going to deny it. All right, I think we're ready to go for uh, next day. He can't hear you either way. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> Not in my house. All right. Where are you, Jeffrey? Get the hell in here, Jeffrey. Oh, the, um, did you employ Jeffrey? This is Jeffrey. I hate Jeffrey. Can't wait to get rid of Jeffrey. See, look, bought the deck boxes. Cool. Oh, I forgot to check the fucking um, the market price. Property values decreasing. Oh shit. Uh. All right. Wait a minute. Let me check the. This is below. Okay, that's below. Market price plus two. Round it off. Um. Okay, we should be good. I haven't checked the deck boxes, but I did, but he was standing outside not helping me and I got mad and fired him. You fired Jeffrey? You know what? That's probably for the best. Jeffrey's a real bastard. I think the only reason why I haven't fired Jeffrey is because, uh, I think he's, uh, he's backed by the union, so. I'm just waiting for someone to take his spot. Like, to have, like, a potential employee, and then, you know, I'll figure out a way to get rid of him. Cashier makes the most sense, I think. Oh my goodness, look at this guy! Big baller. Oh man, that, if he bought so many green decks, it's probably because the I have my green decks for uh, way less than market value. Wait up, let me check the green decks. What's the market value on these things? Oh yep, that's why. I have it below market value. I'll put it for like a dollar more. Affirmative action. <laughs> well, affirmative action in the sense that like, uh, not because of the color of his skin it's because, you know, Jeffrey, he's not, a. Uh, let's just put it this way. He's not the sharpest tool in the shed. So I decided to give him a chance just because, you know, he wasn't going to get hired anywhere else because, you know, he's just not that sharp. And now I'm starting to regret that decision very much. 
Look at him. Come on, Jeffrey. Wasn't Jeffrey the name of Patrick Starr's rock and uh, SpongeBob? See? It's okay, Jeffrey. You can go whenever you're ready. It was Jeffrey, wasn't it? The Rock? <laughs> I'm Squidward, you're Squidward, he's Squidward, she's Squidward. Are there any other Squidwards I should know about? Meow. <laughs> Shout out to Squidwards. Come on, Jeffrey, you stupid asshole. At least Jeffrey has the power of telekinesis, though. That's pretty cool how he can just, like, magnetize the box into his hand. That's pretty cool. Maybe he's Magneto's, uh, the spawn. He's another spawn of Magneto. Fucking Jeffrey. Okay, we're almost at shop level, uh, 20. I want to wait until we... I'm trying to save up money so I can buy the legendary pack. Holy shit a moly. What little... Do I have these below market price? I mean, even if you have something below market price, it'll still sell. I mean, I mean... I mean, you'll still get profit. Let me see. Get the hell out of my face, Jeffrey. Oh no, we oh shit. No 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 gimme the stupid Oh my goodness Jeffrey You stupid ass Gimme this Oh no 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 he was right I think Yeah I think you're right Good job Jeffrey See <laughs> I never doubted Jeffrey for a moment. Yeah, they're really buying the hell out of these green deck things. I kind of don't want to spend any more money on the damn deck boxes. Well, they bought bulk. Thanks for buying my bulk. Charlene. I think we ran out of red. We, oh no, we didn't. We didn't run out. No sparking zero for you? Now, that game looks like it sucks. All those DBZ, like, fighting... Cause the, the, so, here's the reason why I don't really care for them that much. It's because, as a fighting game, like, as, like, a, the mechanics of it as a fighting game, I feel like are ass cheeks. Right? That's just my opinion. Like, yeah, Dra I don't have nothing against Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, or anything like that. Just that, like, the mechanics of those games have always been kind of, like not like taken too seriously you know it's like a party game like smash like you can't take that game seriously right in a, in a competitive sense it's just like a look what i can do look what i can do like okay big blast I think Dragon Ball Fighters was like the only like competitive like one like it just seemed like a fighting game to me, you know. Even though I'm not a big fan of like tag team mechanics in fighting games, but I'll give Dragon Ball Fighters props for that. It wouldn't be true to DBZ form if it were balanced to comp. Mm, yeah, I heard that the Ultra Instinct uh, form of Goku in that game is like hella broken. Like supposedly he just dodges everything. I haven't seen anything like in terms of Ultra Instinct uh, Goku in that game, but can we run out of green packs that quick? Or battle decks? Shit. Okay, that's cool. That's actually a good thing. I want to see those battle decks uh, sell. Come on, Jeffrey, go stock something, you stupid ass.
I like how Jeffrey keeps looking at me like, like he wants me to acknowledge that he's doing a good job. Like, no, hurry up. Like Jeffrey wants to, Jeffrey's like a make a wish kid. Not that, okay, in the sense that like, he's like a pity hire. Okay, now that's a, that, I shouldn't have said make a wish kid. <laughs> That's actually really fucked up. He's not a make a wish kid. Uh, <laughs> Jeffrey's a pity hire. Like I know Jeffrey's mom or something like that. Jeff got open toed shoes at your business establishment. Uh, he's lucky we don't have a dress code. I don't think OSHA rules apply to here. And he's just a pity hire. I I, I, I take pity on uh, Jeffrey, you know? I don't know how I feel about his slippers now that I look at him. I mean, I, I know he's always wore uh, slippers like that and no lineup looking. <laughs> You know you can get into the mind of Jeffrey? Watch, look. You can get into his mind and see what he's thinking. Look. And it's empty. It's empty in there. Look. See? It's like that episode of SpongeBob where like fine dining and uh, breathing. That's all, all he knows, but he doesn't even know anything. It's just like empty. It's like the uh, Death Valley. Hungy. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> I think he's trying to. All right, that's good enough. He needs to do something with that her. What is her? What is her? People still okay. People, they're starting to buy the orange packs. Good. Oh, I forgot to put the battle decks back up. Shit, that's what I forgot to do. God damn it. There you go. Potential fucking uh, profit we could have had. $43 is your change. And we're still not level 20. Oh, we're close. Not there, but close. First day he was standing on the street with the red exclamation and that sent me into a rage. When I first hired him, I didn't even know where the hell he was. And then they were telling me in chat, like, hey, yeah, you gotta go uh, interact with him and tell him what to do. And like, like, uh, like you said, he was just standing out there with an exclamation point on his head. I'm like, dude, you can come inside the damn store hitting blinkers in the bathroom. <laughs> like I said before, you know, he's not the sharpest tool in the light bulb. He's a pity hire. It's not even, now that I, you know, like it's not even like a nepotism thing or anything like that. It's just honestly just pity. It's just pity. Like, yeah, I know I said I knew his mom, but that's not why I I hired him. I'm sure his make-a-wish was a Tetra Mod card shop. <laughs> Holy moly. Yeah, we're shop level 20 now. And I got a Steam achievement for it. So now we're going to go buy the legendary card pack license. Damn, this is $2,000? Okay, we got legendary card packs now. Now we're cooking with uh, something. Oh, good. We finally got rid of the fucking uh, uh, the the thing. <laughs> What'd you say, holy moly, for? Put these purple things down. He 
ebooks. Thinking about John Cena being sad behind the curtain when Jeff said, can I work at a card shop, please? And John Cena has like the most make a wish uh, fulfillments, huh? Man, the kids love John Cena, man. Heisenberg. Thank you, Mr. Berg. All right, so purple packs. I think we need to buy more purple stuff. All right, purple packs. So let me check my. First, let's stock the new stuff. Okay, I'm gonna just leave it open until they leave. Look at this. Red packs? I'm tempted to open this shit. I'm gonna open a couple of red packs. Don't worry. Damn! 10 bucks? 10 bucks is good. Should I just leave it 32 out? See, I'm not sure if like in terms of efficiency, is it better to just leave 32 out like this and then just like keep stock or to have like two, I don't know. I'll just allocate one. How about that? Fuck, we're gonna need another, uh, We're gonna need another one of these warehouse uh, things. All right, now we're close. All right, let's see what these red ones, uh, what, what do we get from the red ones? Dracunix, Giga Knight, uh, the fuck? Brawly from Dragon Ball. Oh, oh Gigatron X. That's how you know he's serious, because there's an X. Say that last name, I couldn't read it. I don't know, it was Giga something. Giga guy, what kind of job he got? I can't say it, it's Jay-Z's nickname. There you go, one of his many nicknames. Mammo tree? Man, where is the holographic stuff? Okay, that's three dollars. Oh, we got gold, uh, Dar. This guy, were you talking about this guy? <laughs> I don't want to say it. <laughs> he looks pretty mad, though. He's like, I'm mad. But I ain't stress. That's my boy right there. <laughs> That's my boy. Hydroid. Oh my god, we didn't get a damn thing. Shit, we need to buy another. So I wonder if I buy another one, can uh, what's his face still fit? We're gonna buy another one. I just like being able to see, you know? Why, well, he should be able to fit. That stupid bastard. Yeah, he'll be able to fit. That stupid bastard. Damn, nobody's buying fucking market price. Yeah, we'll just leave that at market price. How about that? Hmm. Um, All right, we need purple packs. Purple packs. I'll just buy the 32. 32? Um, do we need yellow boxes? We do, no, we don't need yellow boxes. Put these in here. Okay, purple packs. I'm getting on that. Uh, 
We need green and red battle things. I don't think we have enough money for that. Do we? Nope. Unfortunately, we do not. How come these aren't selling? You know, we'll just put this at 18. That seems like a good... Look at that, five bucks profit. That's pretty good. You know, let's open up some more. I wanna see if we get like some thousand, I, I wanna get a thousand dollar card. Everybody else is getting thousand dollar cards, but I don't. What's up with that game? Give me my thousand. For a minute there. I was, I thought the decimal point was uh, one spot to the right, but that would have been too good. I mean, 131 bucks, that's pretty good. Fourteen bucks. I wonder if it makes another sound effect if you get like a thousand dollar card. Does it play like? Duh, nah, 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 nah. Well, you can't really see me, huh? I gotta turn on my light. Wait up. Let there be light. Ah, fuck. Shit. Hold up. There you go. It's the winner takes all. Dude, give me the damn thing. How much are those damn red? Uh, wait, uh, epic card pack. They're one for fifty three. Put a 240. Uh, all right, let's leave it at that. I'm opening up more. It's the new pack, man. We gotta get all the new stuff for collection purposes. Oh my goodness. Give me the fucking, the money. I think there's like a, a pack after this before they head into the new expansion. I could be wrong. Though. You know what? This game likes to play tricks on you. I, I thought that was going to be like a hella good card, but it sucked like the rest of them. Still getting new. Okay. Damn. I'm debating whether or not I should just put everything at market price rather than trying to like squeeze a couple extra cents out of them. That's the loser. That's loser talk, right? I think that's loser talk. Okay, 
wait a minute. Let's order these things. Epic card pack. Wait a minute, we can do uh, bulks, right? We open up like a shit ton of cards. Card sleeves sell well. I don't know if the return is amazing though. Damn, not enough? I had card sleeves before, but... Then I'm like, you know what? I'm taking this shit away. Um... Maybe that's my new highest card. Almost at the 500 uh, point. Hand is full. Put this damn thing on the damn thing. You damn thing. All right, set prices. Market price. You at six. The one thing about the single cells is that it's all profit. I mean, besides having to pick the, you know, buy the actual packs, it's all profit for the most part. Okay, let's start the next day. All right, we're gonna check the market prices. I'm gonna put you at 38. Put you at 38. Adjusting. See how well that shit sells. Thirty-four bucks. Thirty-four ducks. Damn! He bought all the damn legendary stuff. Hell yeah! And he used the exact. The exact amount of money that it cost. AKA, no change. Come on, Jeffrey, hurry the fuck up. I'm gonna pour me some coffee. You guys want some coffee? Say no, say nothing if you want coffee. 
All right, you guys don't want coffee. This stuff's pretty good. It's black coffee, the color black like Jeffrey's soul. There's no way he can be doing this on purpose, right? I mean, on accident. Jeffrey has to be moving this slow on purpose. I must have like screwed him over in a past life or something. Maybe he thinks I screwed his mom. All I'm saying is that if I did, it was consensual. Let me take a sip. <laughs> Finally, they're buying this shit. See, they're buying so much of it because I put the price so low. Which is good. Come on, Jeffrey, hurry the fuck up. Not a bad price, really. But is it, though? Jeffrey, hurry the fuck up. Okay, we ran out of red deck boxes. see after red there's uh oh no i see then it's the new uh the new expansion after don't be looking at me like that heisenberg i see you at the counter Do something, Jeffrey. I dare you. Yeah, that's right. Better keep walking and doing your damn job. Wow, so cheap. Yeah, it's cheap because I want you guys to buy them. Dummies. Damn. This is what I like to see. I gotta refill the... Time to refill. The red packs are going for a lot because we put them at such a low price. Oh, they're below market. That's why they're going for so much. $4.19 profit versus two bucks profit. Good. Sixteen dollars? 
think we got Chelsea Carter? Eighteen bucks. All right, what other high value item can we put in the place of uh, the boxes? Back up, Jeffrey. Stupid ass. All right, those are way below market price. Way below market price. Thanks for shopping at Walmart. Thank you also for shopping at Walmart. I think Jeffrey's calling for in terms of being a employee at my store is probably being like a greeter, like a Walmart greeter. Cause he's not a good cashier. I mean, yeah, he's better at being a restocker, but even then he's not even like a good restocker. Maybe he's a good, maybe he'd be a good greeter. Damn, they're buying up all the goddamn cards. Wait up. Collection book? I gonna buy something? No. Come on, Jeffrey, hurry the fuck up. Are my fire decks priced too high? Kind of. Let's just 
put them at 40. No, we'll put it at 39. How about that? Okay, let me put some orders in for some more stock. Okay, finally they're starting to buy some of the damn stuff hurry up and buy okay let's see what we got to restock up on okay we gotta stock up on We need more purple boxes? Damn, we ran out of purple boxes. Holy shit. So let me buy two purple boxes. And what else do we need? Do we need purple packs? I don't think we need purple packs, right? Nah, we don't need purple packs. Um, we need some star people. Take some of these collection books. Collections, figurine. We need star. Oh shit, we need the decks too. We need fire and earth. Just take earth. are new collector's books. Put you up here. Uh, put it at 36. there. Thank you. 
star plushie. More boxes. Got to order deck boxes? I did. Shit. What is it? Yellow and blue? Guys, you got the yellow and blue. I think we're good. I think I'm gonna put my trading cards at like lower than market price, but I'll leave everything like above market price, right? Cause I don't mind selling uh, the cards. I'll sell the cards. above market price and they're still selling pretty well this at like put this at 37 37 flat Yeah, 
There we go. Buy the purple stuff. And the deck boxes still sell for a. I have them way above uh, <laughs> market price. Well, not way above, but above. But these people seem to love the deck boxes. I'm 
thinking I should get rid of the deck boxes and buy the rest of the the starter decks, right? Well, you can only buy one more. Hmm. The water one, at least for right now. Surprised people aren't buying more of the legendary uh packs. You know I'm like for a damn good price, right? Like a dollar below market. There we go. About time someone starts using the damn uh, find the red packs. Where do whoop these yellow deck boxes? They go for eighteen ninety three. They're above market price, but they keep selling. Green, red, blue.
Let me open some more of these packs. Hopefully we get something good. Where's our thousand dollar card? That's not a thousand dollars. Where's the thousand dollar card? God damn it. Thirty-eight dollars. I think that's it. Let's check the market price. below Damn, he bought all the freaking green <laughs> boxes. 
Well, damn near all of them. And these green ones are definitely a buy. Do we run out of green ones? Oh no, we didn't. We just gotta wait for Mr. Slow Ass Restock. You know what? I'm gonna just do it for him. There you go. Losing out on potential money waiting for him. Can't be doing that. Bought Heisenberg. Damn. Sixteen buck. Shit, wait a minute. Fourteen bucks is your change. Thanks for shopping at Walmart. These damn battle decks sell like fucking hotcakes. Order some uh, <laughs> some of those damn uh, battle packs right now.
Okay, maybe there's money in this, uh, in the decks after all. I feel like the decks sell really well.
We need more boxes, huh? Shit. Open these. Hi, Uncle. How was your white Sunday? Uh, it was kind of a black Sunday, for being honest. How was yours? Damn, no hundred million dollar card? That's not good. I will be right back. I'm going to use the bathroom and take a little break. All right. You guys can watch Zangief per the usual. I'll be right back. There you go, Zangief. Be right back.
All right, we're back. Let me turn off uh, Zangief. Zangief is turned off. You stuttered on your talk. Got my ass. The food after the service is pretty good, though. That's good. As long as you got something out of it, that was good. What the hell was I doing again? Oh, yeah, I'm trying to make money. Trying to make the big money. Shit, it's doing that thing again. There you go. I think we just go to the next day. Oh no, we gotta put the cards on the, the table. I put my cards on the table. Hand is full. Quit your jibba jabba fool. Does your LG list listen to the city? Sometimes. Sometimes they kind of don't know what they want, though. They want, they say they like to listen to the city, but then I turn the city on and then nobody comes. I'm trying. I'm trying to listen to the city. Market price. All right, that's eight bucks for those. Let's put 
put this in. We'll put you at 48. That ought to be good. Um, let's put you kind of high. We got to put you kind of high. So we'll put you at 38. Just because there's only two of them, you know? Put you at 17. Good. You know what? Let's jack the price up on this just a bit. Just a bit. it's been a while but oh yeah they said I suck yeah that shit got shut down they're like cannot I cannot accept because suck I'm like okay makes sense Indeed. Damn, they bought all the damn sleeves. How much profit? 45 bucks? That's not bad. I'll take that. I think I'm starting to know how this business thing works. So put them at market price. And so the stuff that I have an excess amount of uh, stock in, that's what I want to sell for the low low. So I have a bunch of those red decks. So I want to sell that for the low low. Not hella low, but low enough. Come on, Jeffrey, shit. Players don't like playmats. Uh, I haven't bought the license for it. They're here. I just haven't bought the license for them. Yeah, see, five hundred bucks for the this one. Um, yeah, see, I just haven't bought them yet. Well, first, I mean, first you have to buy the license, I should say. You buy the license, and then you you can buy the product and sell it. So, and to actually get the license, the license is the most expensive part. Okay, we ran out of red packs. Cool. So now that we ran out of red packs, here's what I'm gonna do. Oh, he's doing it right now. Okay, we didn't run out. He just, he's uh, doing shit. 49. Buck. Come on, Jeffrey. Shit. Hop to it. Booster packs seem to be selling fairly well. Thank you. 
Damn, man, the blue ones are still selling out. Well, finally, somebody bought the green. Get in the green. Why seek promotion when you can own an LGS? That's what I'm saying. Heisenberg, let him know. Oh, Heisenberg. Gotta restock the single case. Up, Jeffrey shit. Are we do we run low on blue? Oh no, we didn't. Jeffrey just hasn't gotten there yet. Mm. I'll buy the license for this play, man. Claim at Bagoosh. Where's the collector's thing? There you go. Bagoosh. So wait, let's order that right now. Purchase. We'll put the play mats over here. Market price. And then where's this other thing? Our code. The collector books. There we go. Yeah, there's a long ass line. Hold up. empty three empty spaces to put something in i just don't know what the hell to put in these three empty spots any other accessories we could buy because we can buy tabletop games right Cleaned 500 smelly customers. We got a, a steam achievement. We'll just put these two things up here. Boosh. And where's the other one? Okay, that's not it. The hell's the other one? Is this it? Yeah, that's it. I think we have enough space for these. We don't. I'm gonna need to get another one of those uh things. Let me see. Thirty-eight. Thirty-six. Oh, somebody bought some play mats. Cool.
I almost gave that woman no change. I was like, what change? That wouldn't be right. Uh, what level do we have to be at to buy the, the, the boxes for this? 26? Damn, that's a long ways off. Um, we'll buy Mafia Works then. Buy Mafia Works. Put that right here. Just so we can fill up the space. And then we'll put Mafia Works over here. Forty-two bucks. What the hell just sold out? Was that one of the purple boxes? I think the purple boxes sold out. Yep, purple boxes sold out. We're gonna have to buy more of those. Oh, he had it in his hand the whole time. Bastard. So for I gotta buy another one of those, uh, warehouse shelves. Yeah, go load that up. You just dropped it right there. This one at two buck. Round to two. Look at that. Pretty good so far. Do we need more uh, packs? We kind of do, huh? Maybe not. All right, let's move to the next day. Next day. So we have a lot of purple boxes, so I want to sell these for fairly cheap. All right, that's it. Yeah. Sell them for 
these we only have so much good uh, these that's a good price 38 this at 37 To it, Jeffrey. You stupid bastard. That's what I like to see. Buying all the things. Making Jeffrey work. Mush, Jeffrey, mush. Oh, you bought a collector's binder. That's cool. Do I have that at a high enough price? I'm selling it for 40. What's the market value? 38. Get 41 out of it. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna put this over 41. Done. good stuff right here okay, he's buying sleeves sleeves are cool do I have sleeves oh yeah we still have some more sleeves Still aren't buying the legendary packs? What the hell? Don't buy the damn legendary packs. Or the purple boxes. Oh, wait up. They haven't gone the purple boxes because fucking Jeffrey sucks. Damn it, Jeffrey, stop sucking. I was wondering why nobody was buying the purple boxes, but that's because Jeffrey sucks. There we go. About the collector's book. All right. One hundred and ninety two ducks. Damn, girl. buy more of those collector's books <laughs> hey what can we buy more of right now since we're here um we need more packs all right let me buy some packs i'll buy 64. we need that um
need any more? I need more deck boxes, shit. Red. Green. What is it? Red, green. We need all of them, damn. Red, green, blue, and yellow. <laughs> we need more play mats. I think we need play mats too. right back those are some good what's an empty box cool okay, what else do we need more of Definitely need more, uh, a pack of those. Bottom. Bottom. There you go. Damn, he bought all the damn stuff. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, shit. We got to restock the damn... Uh, <laughs> the damn door. Not the door, but this. Oh, shit. What's up, man? My bad. I'm trying to uh, pedal cardboard. How you been, dude? These fucking dumbass NPCs. Three seventy six. Three. Seven. Six. Good, I was dying the day I was watching your Naokuihatsu and the kid fell down the hole. <laughs> oh, what's his name? Uh, I forgot, is that uh, Takashi? His cousin. Yeah, that kid was stupid. He's a stupid kid. That game was pretty good. I like that game. Although, I, I feel like, damn, four eyes, look at you. I'm not complaining, you can buy my fucking product. It's a good game. I wish they would have streamlined it a little bit better though. Like sometimes the game felt like it dragged a bit, but maybe that might've just been me. Good game though. This game's good too. No kid has fell down any hole yet, but. We might get bankrupt, so that might count. 
um you can actually speed up time like if you so there's a thing in the settings where you can make a uh, time go by faster but it doesn't go like hella fast it's just like it's faster than normal i think we have enough money to fire jeffrey jeffrey your days are numbered kid i don't care what union you're with we're gonna get you the hell out yeah, that's my employee, Jeffrey. He's, he sucks. He sucks real bad. Not even in a good way. He just sucks. You should have seen him when I had him work in the cashier. I mean, the register. He sucked even more. Fucking Jeffrey. How's this game so far? Um... It's one of those games where you can get addicted to it real quick. It doesn't, it's not like a game of the year material and it doesn't really do anything like really well. It's just one of those games like right when you start playing it, it's either gonna hook you or it's not. And it seems like a lot of people have gotten hooked on it. Hooked on a feeling, high on believing. But yeah, you're just running a, a card shop, a game shop, so. Then you have really uh, bastard employees like Jeffrey, though, and they make things uh, very uh, bad. Very bad. But yeah, I think I'm going to fire him today. We've, we've uh, accumulated a, a bunch of money. And I think with all that money, we're going to... Uh, give him his walking papers we won't give him a severance package he doesn't get a severance package he just gets walking papers get out of my store what the hell is he doing see look this is my employee right here oh i think i ran out of stuff for him to stock i the fuck that doesn't mean stand there like a jackass Are you getting the JD power? Uh, in a social? I don't think I am. Jeff, uh, Jeffrey was a pity hire. I'll just have him run the register. Hey, run the register. Hurry up, Jeffrey, you dumbass. Give him something to do. I mean, I am paying him after all. Damn stinks. Was that a stinky that just walked in? Yeah. So they're stinky people, right? And you have to like, so the way I have like this really uh, dope ass setup right here where it gets in or like it's going to get neutralized. Look, see, we neutralized them. But if I didn't have these two things in here, people will start complaining about the stinkiness. Like in, in their reviews, like look. These are my reviews. So far, they're doing really well. But if you let too many stinky people get through, they'll start mentioning it in the reviews. See how this says, uh, I love this store. No smell at all. Sometimes, though, if you don't do a good job of keeping the place smelling fresh, they'll be like, man, this place fucking stinks. You don't want that to happen. That'll make your rating go down. And all this, this, uh, Pretty much this uh, brings in passive income. These uh, play tables, pretty much people can come in here and play and it just generates passive income. So that's the good thing about these. But I have 4,000 bucks though, but so I, I definitely want to restock because, you know, look, that's not good. Or maybe I can expand. I'm going to re expand. <laughs> but I want to get rid of Jeffrey. They need to know to they need to know the role and wash the ass. Shit, they need to know how to don't I you know they don't even need to wash their ass. Just don't come into my store smelling like that, you know? You can stink, just go stink, you know. Go outside. Go stink, go stinky up my car. <laughs> Some of you will get that very <laughs> stinky up my car. 
Some of you will get the reference. Stinky up my car, man. See, look, you see where it says zero, 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 zero? That means we have no more of that product in stock, which that's not necessarily a good thing. Not, not at all. But see, I've run out of space. You know what? Can we fire his ass? Okay, so processing fee, 1,000. Checkout speed. Oh, this guy's a good restocker, though. Tell him to order online. No, nah, because we still got to process those orders. I'm thinking about hiring Baldy. Do you sell illegal stuff in the alley? Uh, just butt. No, nah, I don't sell illegal stuff in the alley. I don't even know if you can. I want somebody who's going to be able to restock fast. This guy can restock fast. Should we hire Baldy? Book him down. I think we've got to book this guy. Get hired. But then how do we fire? Look at him. You could just. Yeah, Jeffrey. Fuck you, Jeffrey. Um. Anyway. We gotta, uh, gotta buy more stuff for the store. What's in my, my cart? Deck box. Okay, we got deck boxes. Legendary card pack. Okay, let's just uh, deliver, deliver it. Oh, and um, another thing too, um, it's instant delivery speed. So right when you click, uh, what is it? <laughs> what is it when you, uh, <laughs> when you go on Amazon and uh, place order? There you go. Right when you place the order, it goes through. It just goes through. It's like x -Lax. It just goes through. All right. Um, Sixty-four packs. We think you got Chelsea Carter. We got Amazon Prime. We do got Amazon Prime here. Oh, also, if you're new here, you guys can, uh, I know you're new here, uh, HD Sido. You can um, check out the sound alerts. I got some sound alerts that you might want to mess around with. They all kind of suck, but, you know, that's the point. We can suck together. I didn't know what else to use my channel points on. I wasn't going to use it for like uh, the Twitch stuff. If you tell anybody about our little secret, I'll kill your dog. <laughs> that one's pretty good. <laughs> That's actually a pretty good one right there. You tell anybody? But our little secret. Damn, we gotta buy the decks too. Damn deck. Oh shit, we don't even have enough money for that. If you tell anybody about our little secret, I'll kill your dog. <laughs> That's a good one right there. If you don't have enough points for a uh, devil man, maybe somebody might be able to play it for you, or I guess I could play it for you. I wonder what was the secret? Nah, well, I told you guys where that clip was from, right? Fuck you. <laughs> now I told you guys where that clip was from, didn't I? I could have sworn I did. It's from a, a Stranger Danger uh, YouTube video. It's from Stranger Danger. If you look up Stranger Danger on YouTube, um, that should pop up. Stranger danger. Devil man. <laughs> yeah, I put that one at a thousand because, you know, that's probably the best one. I still want to know the secret though. Do you want to know the secret? He might take you into that alley and sell you some illegal stuff. If you're catching my drift. You see that stupid wig they put on his head? And you know that dude is Polly, right? Like, there's no way around it. That dude is fucking... I don't own a dog, 
Well, let's just put it this way. The dog didn't even matter to begin with, okay? That's just what he uses to get into your door. See, look, look at his stupid, uh, look at his wig. If you tell anybody <laughs> about what a little stupid secret, wig is that? I'll kill your dog. When I can dog walk his ass though? I don't know. Can't that dude, he, I mean, only the toughest people wear wigs. Only the strong. What the hell am I missing? Wait a minute. What the fuck? I had a haircut like that. <laughs> He's probably 70 years old by now. And I mean, there's some old ass people in the Yakuza games and they're based on real life people. And they'll probably, they kick ass. Wait, what the hell was I gonna buy? A vowel. No, not a vowel. This Fosse is real too? Yeah. Are you gonna be able to Fosse him when he's spreading open the cheeks? Not the ones on your face? I don't know. He seems pretty serious about his secret. Shit. Wait a minute. I see the hole. Get in there. Get in there. You're gonna be like, get in there. Gotta restock. Want me to open up some packs? I'll open up some packs. All right, that's pretty good. Everything, at least everything is stocked now. So that looks good. A well-stocked uh, shelf looks good. <laughs> is that he's the diddler? It might be. Oh no, well actually ba he is based off that video because it was a stranger danger video. So yeah, he he's actually a diddler. I mean, that that's his character though. I don't know if he is one in real life, but that was his character. That was his motivation for that specific uh, work of art does this store have pizza yeah but pizza um no there's no pizza no pizza there's pepperoni but nothing to put it on we're trying to hope for a thousand dollar uh card man there's other people in chat that have gotten thousand dollar cards but what the hell game He's the pervy uncle no one wants at the function. Okay, that's not even, they made a big deal about $10. Do you base the coolness of the cards on card value? No, I just go whatever, by whatever the game tells me. I don't know flame, these, these uh, fish drunk. $10, trust me. S Beast has gotten ten thousand dollar a thousand dollar card, but that's because he's cool. I want thousand dollar cards. Shit! All right, we'll open up like this much more. Wish me luck. This might seem like we're doing good, but we're we're not. Oh, my business. Okay, my bad. My bad. No, he didn't get a thousand dollar card. The decimal. Where's the black lotuses? They're not in here. Well, they should be in here. I'm not pulling any of them. Maybe that was part of the secret. Can you get sponsored and have hologram Yu-Gi-Oh battles? No, but you can use Pot of Greed. Which lets you play Pot of Greed. You know what? I, I had the urge to play League the other day. Believe it or not. I don't know why I had that urge, but... You know, sometimes you have the urge to do hood rat stuff, and... 
that's what the urge i feel like that's what the urge to play league was it was like a hood rat urge i didn't play it because i would have to re-download it but league stream nah nah maybe i haven't downloaded it yet because i was i was saying in stream the other day like i was thinking about playing a multiplayer like competitive game and that would have been street fighter but i threw my fight stick away and i don't want to play with controller i'll unretire if you need a guy <laughs> i don't know i don't know man is it still cool yeah i don't know we'll see if you see like a youtube video of like me playing league then then you'll know that i started playing it again but if not i don't know you know what really like uh, watching old donkey videos that made me uh want to play league i'm like damn man league used to be cool man what the fuck game why can't you be like league card ship uh simulator why are you a good game? Why can't you be a bad game? Like League. Can't people have good cars, Dad? Can't you sell people good cars? <laughs> Listen, you little wiseacre. Would you ever consider opening a card shop? Mm. Possibly. I don't know, maybe. I think I'll, mm, I would say video game shop, but I feel like physical video games are becoming more niche than ever, right? I think it's just like more of like a niche uh, hobby, physical video games. You'd have to buy the Stinker 10 defense system. I can do that. I can buy Stinker 10 stuff. You know, there's an upgraded version of these you can buy. Look. But I don't want to buy it because so here's the stupid thing about this game in order to neutralize stinky people you have to spray them twice one just wouldn't do it you have to spray yeah you got to hit them two times one time two time and then neutralized so I don't think that this thing sprays like if this thing still has to spray twice to uh neutralize the spray then I don't think it's worth the cost of uh, buying it. I mean, it can hold up to four cleanser, which is two more than what the basic ones can do. But if they still got to hit the person twice, you know, what the hell? I think I'd consider something like that if I was just rich and needed a hobby, like opening a store. Yeah. I think if I wanted to open a store, I'd want it to be like, uh, and I wasn't rich. I obviously I'd want it to be profitable, but if I was just rich, and I didn't give a damn. Yeah. I could open up a card shop or like a video game store. People just come in and play video games and just shoot the shit. But that's not the case. Let's go on to the next day. Oh yeah. We got a new employee, right? We got a new employee. And he's bald. I'd open a bar. That's pretty cool. A bar? Welcome to the bar. Mm. Would your business suffer if you've just banned stinkies? Um, I don't think... So, like, a card shop kind of caters to the stinkies, right? I don't think a bar does as much. Look at this guy. He looks like that guy from Master Shift, that Italian dude who, who hates everything. He's like, this is the worst meal I ever had. I don't know what his name is, but all I know is that he hates everything. Uh, no. Go restock, you stupid bald. Jeffrey. Um, you re... Can I tell Jeffrey to fuck off? If I tell, I'll terminate. Get 
the fuck out of here, Jeffrey. You fired. Let bald let, let bald man Jones show you how it's done. Jeffrey's over here like Charles Dickens with his hands out like, please, please don't fire me. Beat it. Yeah, but card shops, they definitely cater to stinkies. And like anime caters to stinkies. So if it was like an anime card shop, that'd be like a like Chernobyl. It'd be like Chernobyl too, if it was an anime card shop. Look at him go. Look at what the grace of a baldy. Yeah. This guy's way better than Jeffrey. Stone Cold! Stone Cold! Look how he just throws that box in there. He doesn't give a shit. It's not like he bought it. The product. Yeah, good job. You know, you're way better than Jeffrey. Do you still play League, Spence? Are you still playing Valorant? I just want to just, because uh, I'm pretty sure if anybody in the chat's playing League still, it's probably you. Which is not a bad thing. I just want to just get your opinion on it. No, Val, I play League a lot still. Like real, like regular League and not like, uh, what's the, the chess game? Remember when Leland used to stream League, man? What the hell, man? I like those League streams. I play the rotating game mode. Oh, like Earth and all that. Earth. <laughs> so no ranked. Leland of Legends. He was the Shen OTP, not nah, to sweat. Really? What about Overwatch? Are people still playing Overwatch? Deadlock. People playing that? Oh yeah, you invited me to Deadlock, huh? I never played it though. I should have played it. Look at this guy. Of course you would buy the... I'm not even gonna say anything. <laughs> oh, damn, look at you. Big baller, shot caller. Where's Baldy? Oh, yeah. I thought Baldy was taking a break, man. You don't get no 15 minute break around here. No water break, huh? Water is for, water makes you weak. Water's for getting blood off that Titan uniform. You don't get no blood on my Titan uniform. Water is for cowards. Water makes you weak. We need a water break. <laughs> water is for cowards. Water is, makes you weak. Man, Coach Boone was a fucking asshole. <laughs> Water makes you weak. <laughs> Water is for cowards. Water makes you weak. <laughs> we are going to do up downs until Blue is no longer tired or thirsty. We <laughs> need a what, Frank? <laughs> Imagine being a high school kid and having to tell your coach that you need a water break. Man, we need a water break. Water is for cowards. Oh, 
Water makes you weak. <sighs> oh yeah, has anybody in chat have any have any of you finished uh, Better Call Saul? I'm on season five, episode two right now. Well, I think episode three. I like it so far. You think Better Call Saul ever drank water? <laughs> water is for cowards. Water makes you weak. <laughs> we need a water break. <laughs> We are going to do up downs until blue. Yeah, man, people love these binders. I need to put them up. You know what? Let's put them for 42 bucks. You know what? You guys are, I, I, I'm probably losing money on this for putting it at 41. Let's put it at 42. Water is for cowards. Water make you weak. How come nobody's buying our purple boxes? Are they up price too high? They are. 1,500 customers played in shop. I like it. There you go. Oh, no, 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 no. Put it back. We need more people to buy those purple. All you water drinkers. You guys go out there and buy those, uh, buy those purple boxes. This guy better have a bunch of stuff in his bag, the way he's dressed. You know what? 100, 100 bucks, all right. High roller. What kind of outfit is this? Okay, there we go. The high roller customers. This is what I like to see. Buy my stuff. How much does this guy cost per day to keep? Baldy? People order our patties. $300? Okay, that means we gotta fucking make money, money. We gotta make the hell of money. Big money. Let me turn the light on. Better be doing your job there, buddy. I have got to piss off and have a good night. You have a good night too, dude. Thanks for coming out, man. Thanks for the sub. Speaking of subs, I know you get ad free watching, but uh, I, I also turn my ads like hella low, like to the lowest setting that it would allow me to put it because as an affiliate you can't turn off ads completely but i turn them down to like the lowest setting so because before yeah they were pretty high the ad uh frequency so damn we need more legendary packs all right, I'll make note of that when we uh, restock. In response, I cast counter spell on that. In response, I cast uh, <laughs> my little secret. <laughs> In response, I kill your dog. What? <laughs> Water is for cowards. Water make you weak. <laughs> we need a water break. <laughs> <laughs> Why 
fucking blue, man. Does the term cruel and unusual punishment mean anything to you? Good price. Shit, I gotta put more cards out for the fucking... For the people. For the city. Coach didn't sound like that? Yeah, he did. Can you tell me how he sounded like? Tell me how he sounded like, but, uh... Put it in chat. Now, who is your daddy? He sounded like Denzel Washington. Something like that. Mr. Washington. Washington, comma, Denzel. Coach Boone. Herman, right? Wasn't that his first name? Herman? Herman Miller? <laughs> Fucking bald guy's expensive to keep around. Better be worth it. But you're Superman. Can't you see the family resemblance? I always found that, well, I know it was a sad scene, but like when he's pointing at them, or Gary's driving off in the car be uh, shortly before he uh, he crashes. He's like, no, you, man, you, and then bam. I thought it was cringe. That's fine. I thought it was funny. <laughs> you, man, you. Where are you going? Where are you going on White Sunday? Going to the Berg. The Berg. <laughs> I don't want to get to know him. You are coming to church with your mama. Just get to know him, ma. I don't want to get to know him. Man, his mom was racist. Yeah, that was his last name. Gary Bertier. And his racist mother. Oh, that's why. If I don't pay the employees, do they just stop working? <laughs> I mean, I would imagine, right? We could have made more money if these two dummies would just play it against each other. Oh yeah, exactly. Foosball's the devil. And then after that, she that's when she hit, uh, what's his face? The water boy's dad with the sledgehammer, right? To his feet. <laughs> I gotta know, man. <laughs> know what? Don't be playing games with me, all right? He kissed me, man. Oh, um, did, did everyone's team? It's me, Roberto. I'm your daddy. <laughs> did everyone's team win today in terms of an NFL? I'm pretty sure mine's didn't. I, I didn't even bother to check if my team won because I already know that they fucking lost. Oh, your team won? That's cool. You still a Seahawks fan? Uh, Mr. Beast? Because if you are, then your team's doing pretty well. Oh, you're not? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, so they must have lost then. Unless that's Morse code for uh, we won. Is it Morse code for you guys won? 
The Niners beat you guys? What the hell? No. I don't believe you. I think the Rams had a fucking bye week today. That's right, they had a bye week. Time the Buccaneers shit on the Saints. 51 to 27? Good job, Bucks. I don't know. I don't think they were Thursday night. I think they were on a bye. I could be wrong, though. I have been wrong before. Can we need to go by the city? The city? Listen to my city. There we go. Um, the fuck? Can you make that a sound alert? Make what a sound alert? Oh, the city? I mean, I guess I could. Okay, we need to we need to buy. I need to take an inventory. Okay, we need to buy decks. All three decks. That that might actually put us over. Fire. Okay, almost and almost did. How much are the the sleeves? Sleeves. And uh, that's it. Deck seem to uh, be a, a good uh, a good selling point for the consumers. Oh, we gotta buy more fucking legendary packs, don't we? Oh, we don't have to. No, we don't have to. I guess we can open a. Uh, You know what? I'm going to open one of these boxes. We're going to get a $10,000 card or maybe 1,000. You know, I'll be happy with 1,000. I almost thought that was going to be like a $1,000 card. I should have known better. Open another one because I know one of these ones is gonna be the one you guys believe you guys better be believing right now I got a steam achievement for a collected 500 cards Damn it. You stupid shit. We're gonna open up another one. I don't have a problem, you do. <laughs> oh, oh. This stupid ass game.
Give me the good money. B I N G O. Wolgen? He looks like a fucking jackass. Oh my goodness. Can we put this in here? A goosh. to the next day are these uh gotta buy some more cleanser you know what? I'll just buy the cleanser right now for the stinkies Next day. Mm. Yes, we're open. I'll leave it at forty. Hurry up and buy. Now everybody wants to pay in the exact amount all of a sudden. of a sudden. Alright, start restocking. She bought the last uh, binder.
I think I might have to buy some more uh, purple packs. What's that purple stuff? I think the next time before we uh, upgrade the store, I think I'm gonna try to fully stock my inventory before I do that. Six buck. Sick buck. Deck box of plenty. Morning, Kit. Whereabouts are we? Oh, this stinky guy. Oh, okay, I'm about to say, hopefully the air freshener would have got him. Hit him. Hit him, air freshener. Got him. Oh, shit, we ran out of stuff. Indiana. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Oh, bad thing. Yeah, it's a bad thing. We all hate Indiana. Better not take it. Oh yeah, we got rid of Jeffrey, Cat. We got the bald dude right here. Bald suit guy. Not Hitman though. It's, it's another bald suit guy. This one has a goatee. I mean a beard. Fourteen ducks. Did we run out of green decks? Oh no, we didn't. It's just uh, the bald guys not moving all that fast. was our purple box supply doing? You know what, I'll help you out. Yeah. Yeah, he's uh, I think he's at a fast restock speed, I believe. Yeah, because Jeffrey was not cutting it, dude. Let me check. I think he's fast, right? Yeah, fast restock speed. No one seems to be blind the blind buying the blue decks. 
They're not even that much more expensive. Mm. Does he have telekinesis? He does have telekinesis. Way better than Jeffrey's. He's on a different level. All aspects. That's right, buy everything, Heisenberg. Buy it all. This costs five bucks, he said that? Yeah, it costs five bucks. Damn, okay. I like Heisenberg. This guy's buying all the battle decks. Now this guy comes in and just buys all the blue battle decks. Okay, I think I want to stock up on the battle decks first. I want to get a full stock of those. Before we proceed. So I want to get a full stock of those. Or maybe I should just worry about the... I don't know. All I know is that I want to get a full stock of inventory before I start... Uh, Expanding the store again. Oh, damn it. Wait up. Market price round. go eight buck is your change thanks for shopping at walmart oh some stinky guy got in man damn it spray you damn stinky guys man Two bucks is your change. Well, we ran out of purple boxes too. Playmats, shit. Yeah. 
Did you look for any mods for this game? Yeah, there's actually a, a Pokemon mod that I found. But as I was trying to get it to work with the game, I had the urge to watch uh, Better Call Saul. And I couldn't do both. So Better Call Saul won. I can understand that. All right, so now we got to restock. So these purple boxes are definitely uh, high up in terms of things we got to restock up on. And the battle deck boxes are other ones we need to restock up on. So let us do that, shall we? Uh, does two of these uh, fill up the thing? Wait up. I want to see if two of those fills up the... I don't think it does, though. Right? Or does it? I think they do. The most random urge. There we go. 16. Alright, and... Uh, I guess one green, blue... No, we need two reds, unfortunately. Two red decks. One green, one blue. Eighteen reds. goes right there green goes right there okay what else do we need deck boxes we need every single damn deck box everyone nice so we're gonna need 16 reds 16 green Yellow, blue. Just stack up. Blue. Red. The hell are the green ones? The green ones. And then yellow. How far are you on Saw? Uh, season five, episode three. That's where I'm at. have random urges to watch the Sopranos. Problem is I can't commit. <laughs> well, maybe one of these days you'll find it. You know, you'll find the, the commitment within you to watch it. I thought it only had four seasons. From what I saw, there's six. Okay, play mats. We need some more of those play mats. Play mat. Do we have any of those, uh, we don't even have any packs, really? Off 
steel works. That right there. How few works will push. I watched all but the last four episodes of uh, Better Call Saul. Still got a ways to go to get to where you are. Okay, what other things can we buy? Purchase. Leave me with 25 bucks. I feel like we gotta see you play one horror game before the month ends. Yeah. I guess it depends. Depends on if I get there before the <laughs> before it ends. some bulk bundling real quick. The green decks. I don't the green decks. I don't know why I'm doing uh, what's his face's job, but I am. All right, next day. are flying off the shelves. Thank you. 
just one deck box? When does the new Like a Dragon drop? Uh, the show or the game? The Like a Dragon game comes out February. It comes out the same day as the new Monster Hunter game, so I'm torn between which one I want to play first. They come on the, they come out on the same exact day. What the hell, video game companies? Yeah, the show looks kind of shitty. Not the deck boxes, the battle decks. What can I buy at shop level 22? Oh, we can buy this. The wind battle deck. That's the last one. I think. Is it the last one? Damn, he just bought all of our stock of red packs. 20 units.
But what's the highest event that we can manage? Ten dollars an hour, fifteen. Did you say yes to the horror game? I missed it. Getting ready for work. No, I said if we, if we get to it, then we get to it. There is a horror game I've been thinking about playing that I haven't played before, so. I don't own it. I don't own it on Steam, though, but. You said yes? <laughs> You want fear and hunger? Who's we? We or you? Don't bother Kit, he's getting ready for work. He's gotta get his espresso machine ready. <laughs> Nineteen bucks. As much as like I enjoy playing this game, this game definitely has the makings of just being a chill off stream game. It's a pretty good time, very uplifting and wholesome. Yeah, there's a lot of morals you can learn from that game. Great morals. Sixty-nine bucks. Very mindful, very demure. Get those purple, uh, the purple box. Oh, damn, there's no more cards in the damn single display case. Hold up. buck is your change okay we need more mafia works <laughs> four buck I feel like the display stand right here this thing that they can buy singles from is a lot more hassle than what it 
and what it brings. Like, I feel like the space it takes up could be better used for like putting anything else there. That's potentially more shelf space. But if we don't have that little, uh, just drop the binder on the display, they don't look for what they want. I wish that was a, no, nah, but then they'll take my, uh, cause I, my minimum. Cause I still want one of each kind of card, but like this, but if you don't have this, then, uh, people that they just walk in and then like, if they notice there's no cards to just, they shake their head and just walk away. I think that affects your, uh, your uh, gold star rating, which affects, I don't know what, but, cause I'm only putting like a $2 cards on that display stand. But if you don't have it, the people will riot. By getting ready for work, I mean making grits. Do you like your grits sweet or savory? All right, let's take an inventory. Okay, so we need two Mafia Works things. We need two of these. Is Mafia Works even there? It's not, so we actually need three of those. Three mafia works have to be savory. Mm. Savory required by law. Could buy some more of those magneton things. Mm. Now, you know what? We're gonna put these at a hella cheap price. Cause I wanna get rid of them. Is she buying something? Buying a single. She's buying singles. Is he buying anything? Nope. You're gonna buy that? Nope. We're closed. Okay, we need Mafia Works. Or maybe we just don't get Mafia Works. And instead we buy the new game. Necromancers. Saw a man destroyed by an angry mob for putting Splenda in his grits at a Waffle House. I heard they get down at a Waffle House, man. I heard that's where all the good fights happen. At Waffle House. Market price. Oh, damn. This is actually a pretty good... Uh, let's put this at 52. way more profitable than the other games. Dinner and a show. Yeah, that's where that Captain America lady works at, right? I've seen this uh, video on the internet where somebody tried to throw one of those sh stool chairs at a Waffle House uh, waitress and she just caught it out of midair with one hand. And then they played like the Marvel music, like the Captain America music over it. 
Like that was supposed to be her shield. need to buy, let me see, booster packs. need to buy more booster packs. Definitely. Accessories. You gotta buy more of these. What else do we need? I don't think I'm gonna restock those next. Still need to keep that. Okay, how many more boxes do we have? We have a decent amount of boxes. Where the hell is the... Did we run out of playmats? I think you ran out of playmats. How come your fake kids don't work with you? Uh, it's school. It's the school year, so. the same shop level but I'm like four days ahead of you oh six days oh damn really this is one of those play at your own pace games so it's not a race but I am ahead of you but you know it's not a race I said I think the game wants me to gouge people with my prices. I don't think they do because so like here's what whenever I see that um but if it were I'd be kicking your <laughs> I mean I mean pretty much but you can come back. I mean three dollars profit is not even that bad. Even if you were to put it at market price, you'd still get like uh three bucks for it. Right? Oh, 295. Do we need more of those magneton things? We don't. I actually want to get rid of these things. I want to sell them for like cheap. So that way they can like get the hell out of my, uh, they can like get the hell out of my uh, inventory. So I can buy the new, I want to buy the new, uh, the new plushie. So I can take the place of this plushie. Unless I get new, uh... Unless I get uh, another shelf space, which I might end up having to do. We can buy more deck boxes. Deck boxes. We got packs. I 
Guess we can buy another one of these folders. Put that out. You definitely want to buy this product, right? <laughs> Gunpoint. Buy this damn thing, or I'm gonna shoot you. I mean, I'm gonna, uh... I'm not gonna shoot you. We cannot mix different box sizes? Really? That's a thing, eh? I didn't know that. Well, guess we're gonna have to put this shit over here. That kinda sucks, actually. That actually really sucks. That you can't mix the box sizes. Cause then it, it kind of forces you, like once you start buying a certain box size, you have to keep on buying it then, right? That fucking sucks. have to open up some of these so that way we can make room for the other stuff that's not even a good card 14 bucks not good enough damn box <laughs> I mean they do seem to get like really pissed when you do spray them with the deodorant so they get like hella pissed two so we're gonna open up two packs one two come on one thousand dollar card I'm gonna call the stream right here, guys. Been streaming for a cool minute. I wonder if you could put down this down as work experience on your resume. Might, maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna end the stream. I'm probably gonna play this off stream. And then potentially play a new game. I just got a Steam achievement. It said make $1,000 profit in a day. Thanks for the stream. Thanks for coming out, all y'all. Thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, watching the VOD if you're watching the VOD. Thanks for any lurkers that might be lurking. Keep on lurking. I'm appreciative of it. If worded properly, I'm sure you can get away with it. Yeah, I think so. I think you can get away with anything if you have enough charisma. All right, y'all, thanks for watching. Stay safe, night, night. I'm probably gonna be keep playing this off stream. Don't get mad. <laughs> Stay safe and peace.